Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Hey, I'm multitasking right now. Are you? Yeah, it, it, the way it looks is that I'm sitting here shooting our show. Right. But I'm actually sitting here peeing. So I'm multitasking. Sure enough. Yeah. Uh, you know why? Because I always sit while I, when I pee. Do your best work while you're sitting down? I think so. <laughs> On today's show, not that stupidity, six reasons men should pee sitting down. I hope you're sitting down for this one. It's next. Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And the ability to pee <laughs> while standing up is one that is distinctly masculine. Although, yeah. I'll be honest with you, I've seen some girls do it. I've seen it. Uh, but just because a man can pee standing up, does that mean he should? The ability to urinate while standing is a definite plus on the wilderness hikes and out in the backwoods, but is it something that should be used in the world of low toilet seats, expensive hardwood floors, and marble restrooms? Hmm. Is it be It's been a long time since I've been in a marble restroom. <laughs> is it better for a man's health to urinate while in the seating seated position? I don't think you can spell your name on a wall while seated. Oh, no, I've done that. <laughs> yeah. uh, here are some reasons why men should consider peeing sitting down, Ron. All right, this first one, it prevents the spread of disease. Well, yeah, uh, of course. Yeah, so while urine is sterile, I think we probably all knew that, mm -hmm. uh, splashes and puddles that accumulate on the toilet seat and floor make for sticky areas where germs can collect. When your doctor collects your urine for a urine test, the pee is sent to a lab, placed in a Petri dish, and kept at body temperature to see if any bacteria grows. Since no one wants to walk into a life-size Petri dish, dish, sitting down will keep your pee in the toilet where it belongs. Yeah, and like I said, in open, you can multitask while you're sitting down. <laughs> The only problem is if the guy peed on the seat before you. Oh, boy. And then you got that sanitary problem again. Yeah. It may prevent lower urinary tract symptoms. Mm. Gosh, if you've ever had one of those infections, you know how painful that is. The National Institute of Health reports that sitting down while peeing can decrease lower urinary tract symptom, symptoms in men who are prone to frequent symptoms. Symptoms of LUTS are an increased frequency of urination, inability to completely empty the bladder, and an urgent need to urinate. Sitting down allows the bladder to more completely empty and prevents leftover urine from developing a bacterial infection. Those are also all common ailments with old age. Yeah. Yeah, and the prostate is also involved in this situation. Yep. Uh, okay, next up, it prevents unsightly puddles. Yeah, oh. you, should, you should see our men's room at work. Holy crap. I swear to God, these guys need glasses. Yes, uh -huh. maybe a target on the back. It would be good. Yeah. Uh, one of the best reasons pee sitting down is simply for the aesthetic effect. You don't have to be a germaphobe or a neat freak to prefer using a restroom that is devoid of unsightly splashes and splatter. Bathrooms are used for more than just peeing. You might enjoy a soak in the tub, relaxing in a steamy shower. That's me. Oh, yeah. Uh, and trimming your beard in the sink. Uh, at, these activities aren't so pleasant when surrounded by yellowing drips and drizzles. Yeah. Uh, peeing while sitting down ensures that you don't have to keep seeing your pee on subsequent trips to the bathroom. My mom, oh, man, we had a tile floor in her house. I swear to God, if there was one drop on that tile, she would come get me, make me get a piece of toilet paper and clean it up. Ah, yeah. Yeah, well, that, it yeah. left me scarred. I'm sure. I can, <laughs> I can feel it from here. Uh, it may, sitting down, peeing, may improve your prostate health. Oh. As men age, the prostate gland can become enlarged. When this happens, Added pressure on the bladder can lead to incomplete emptying of the bladder. Sitting down allows for more complete relaxation of the pelvic muscles and more complete emptying of the bladder. Peeing sitting down can help prevent some of the painful symptoms 
of an enlarged prostate, such as bladder stones and urinary tract infections, which we've mentioned. Wow. Yeah. Stones. Uh, I don't want anything, to stones. Anything you can do to avoid problems with your prostate, take it from me, do them. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Yep. An ounce of prevention. Yep. Uh, next, it can protect your floors. <laughs> I think that goes without saying. And your mom was right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The uric acid in urine can leave behind stains and odors in your tile, wooden, and ceramic floors. A landlord in Germany actually sued one of his tenants for urine damage to his marble floors. Oh, wow. damn. Here we go with the marble again. Yeah. Uh, to keep your floors pristine and to avoid odors from urine damage, take a seat while emptying your bladder. All right. So on today's show, we're talking about should men sit down when they pee and we're giving you reasons uh, why you should. And this comes in at number one, and I'm I'm not sure I quite understand. It makes your spouse happier. You know, my wife was talking about just that, how I should try and make her happier or something. I can't remember. I wasn't listening. Uh, leaving the cap off the toothpaste. My wife does that. Ooh. Hogging the blankets. My wife does that. And not replacing the toilet paper roll. My wife doesn't do that. Mm. Uh, it's too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All are common disagreements among couples. Add leaving unsightly pee splatter. Boy, that sounds disgusting. Yuck. How do I always get these things? <laughs> the toilet added to that list. Sitting down to pee is one way to keep your spouse happy, especially if she is the one cleaning the bathroom. Sitting down to pee is one simple way to keep your bathroom cleaner and your wife happier. Maybe then she'll be more willing to share the blankets. Well, happy wife, happy life. I've never heard that before. <laughs> it's <laughs> It may or may not be true. I'm not sure. I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah. And please don't ask me if it's true because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't really go out of his way in that in that area. Ronnie, I do. Uh, you know, if, if I'm in a hurry, well, first of all, I guess I have to explain. Um... I had prostate cancer and had to have my prostate removed. So I've been through that process, and trust me, I know what it feels like to have to pee. And one of the things that you have to learn with prostate cancer is how to hold it. Oh, oh, it's so important. Uh, it's like those Kegel exercises. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, it, it's that sort of thing. So what I'm saying is, if I'm in a real hurry, and a lot of times I am because I have to pee so bad, especially after a 35-minute commute, drinking coffee. Right. Uh, I'd bang, stand and pee, no big deal. Right. But if I have a few minutes, I, I honestly, I, I will sit down. What's the What's the difference? Yeah. You know, you're on your phone maybe, yeah. or you're comfortable, and uh, so I'm saying that for men's health, and men are so smart. Yeah, we we are. We bring you this information so that you'll understand. It's not. It doesn't emasculate you. No. Uh, because you're sitting down. No. And you know the people that might say that to you, they, they're they they're just guilty of being uh, bullies. Right. You know, and they probably do it themselves and they're just trying to look really macho. It makes no difference. It's you in the bathroom stall by yourself. Right. Who's going to know the difference? Yeah. Right? And now, if I have my choice between standing and sitting at a public restroom, I'm going to stand. Uh, I'd rather not sit down on that toilet seat yeah. if I don't have to yep. or if there isn't some simple green or Lysol there. And I very rarely sit down when I'm standing at a urinal. It's yeah. Not, yeah, it's not great either. Right. Have you ever gotten one of those urinal cakes in your butt? <laughs> <laughs> See, we asked the tough questions. I might just have one. I'll have to take a look. Maybe you can take a look for me later. You know, I'd be more inclined to eat those things if they were shaped like donuts. Ooh, yeah. Put a hole in the middle. Although they do, do look like vanilla ding-dongs. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Yeah. How did we get there? <laughs> we thought in the beginning we won't get there. We yeah, got there. It went right there. Yeah, right there. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a like. We like that. We enjoyed that. Yep. Um, and you can subscribe to our channel very simply. Uh, at the end of this video, you'll have an opportunity, or at any time, you can do it down below in the comment section. Um, While you're peeing, you could be sitting and peeing, <laughs> and then you could still hit the like and subscribe yeah, button. Yeah, and then that would be a good time to comment, too. Yes. I'm texting this from my seat. 
<laughs> while, while peeing. <laughs> All right, that'll do it for Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corbett Ronnie. See you next time.